time is time time for some live music in the form of caroline harrison caroline is a singer songwriter she started off life in kent but she's now spending most of her time in wales and she joins us live on the program tonight welcome thank you thanks for having me it's our pleasure i was saying when you came in that the direction of travel that you made from kent to wales is an unusual one it is yeah <laughs> um I, I moved there best well about 17 years ago so i've I'm sort of a local now. <laughs> Did you, I'm just trying to work out. You, I'm not going to ask you to dare betray your age to me, but I'm trying to work out, would that have been during your school years? Um, yes, yeah, in between GCSEs and A-levels. Right, so, so big yeah. upheaval. Yeah, it was. It was a really difficult age to move, actually, because leaving all your friends behind at that age, it's not yeah. easy. So, um, yeah, I... I Actually, the first thing I did was get in a band when I moved, which saved me. <laughs> so uh, I think that's why I've that may have carried saved you. on. Did it worry the family? Because they think, <laughs> oh my goodness me, she's going off the rails at, uh, yeah. just before what her A-level. Done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, they were really supportive. I think they understood, you know, it was not an easy time, I think probably f for me particularly at that age. But yeah, I don't regret it. I love Wales and I love living there, so... And how does it feel when you come back? I mean, I know you came back to this city last night. You obviously know it pretty well because you were living in yes, Kent for, lived, for a yeah, time. Yeah. So what, what is it like to return? Because we're talking tonight about the numbers of people who've moved abroad. Five million in the last 10 years have wow, gone from, okay. from this country. Uh, we're trying to work out why they would do it. But in a sense, you've kind of, I mean, it's almost as good as emigrating, <laughs> moving, from, yeah. moving from England to Wales. When um, you come back and you see London and the skyline and the people and the sense of a city, what do you make of it? Do you miss it or do you think it's a nice place to visit? It, <laughs> it's a good question. Um, when I lived, because I have lived in London for a few years as well, um, and I loved living here when I was here. But I think when you don't live in London for a long time, you, you do get out of the, the routine, really, of the pace of life. I think that's more mm. that's more what it is. It's it's almost wherever you live dictates, you know, the pace of where you live dictates how you live your life to some extent, I feel. So I always feel when I come back, it takes me like a day to sort of think, oh, my God. Yeah. How <laughs> on earth do they cope with it? I mean, when I moved down, I mean, I've, I've lived in London all my life, bar every yeah. so often moving elsewhere. And if I disappear for six months, a year or longer, and I come back to London, the tube foxes well, me i oh, love no. the tube and yeah. i i have always traveled on the tube sometimes for fun just to go from a to b or for <laughs> nowhere in particular just to think i used to revise on the tube but when i have come back and suddenly get forced around by large groups of people yeah. I, I i'm lost for a mm. few days it takes me a while yeah it's the it's that sort of everybody's herding towards mm. you know that you do get that sense of everybody's in a rush and i think that's probably what i don't have in West Wales but then actually you do cr I crave it sometimes because mm. I was born in in a, a built up area I haven't always lived in the country but I think it's I do like coming back I mean London's a fantastic city so I'm just trying to think of where, where there is ever a rush in deepest Wales but we may say yeah, that for I another day I think you've been a while <laughs> Caroline <laughs> uh, we're looking forward to hearing a couple of your live tracks tonight you've got a new single out which is called Beyond the Dark and Sky you've had very very flattering reviews in all kinds of, uh, of newspapers and, and online areas and, and radio stations too um, I think we should just listen to what you've got to offer so the, the single is out now uh, out in august on on august the 25th um is this going to be part of an album yeah it's a part of a five track ep which is and that's the title track beyond the darkened sky um so there's there's five five tracks in total and that's my debut ep so that's the first single from it which is exciting all right so. in your own time take it away live on bbc london 94.9 this is caroline harrison you 
Didn't know where I was coming from. Didn't know who I was running to, but I feel the lie. Couldn't tell the truth from another lie. Couldn't see beyond the darkened sky, but I. Live on BBC London 94.9, Caroline Harrison. That is the single. It's out on August the 25th. It's called Beyond the Darkened Sky. I, um, I I love the sound of your voice, and I always try and work out what somebody's going to sound like, and I never know. I never get it right. I never <laughs> work it out from, from their speaking voice. I also enjoy the list of names of the bands and the artists that you grew up listening to because <laughs> usually there's either a few in there that I can't stand or I don't know, worse still. Oh, right. but, uh, of Mama Cass, Dion Warwick, Dusty Springfield, Fleetwood Mac, uh, certainly someone in the family did not go a foot wrong in your, no, in your musical very upbringing. Lucky, very lucky, yeah. I I literally grew up listening to the sounds of the, particularly the late 60s and early 70s, and there was something about that music, partic- particularly Mama Cass, um, um, and ironically they wrote, they wrote beautiful songs um, which had an innocence to them, which is ironic for what was really going on at mm, the time. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, and I just think there's something really special about that because it was almost like the music completely transported them somewhere else. Um, and, yeah, I like to think that, that that I could sort of achieve that. But m- mainly I've tried to kind of emulate that timelessness to my music, which I feel the music of the, that era has. It just You can put it on now and it still sounds as fresh as it did then to me. And it's interesting because so, you say about it being innocent. I think you want is it dream a little dream you can even hear her <coughs> coughing just before she starts saying i mean it is it is a remarkable sound and, yes, it, and it, it is, is yeah. it is the kind of thing you just think it, it's it's very quaint is the wrong word i suppose innocent naive is 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 yeah. right isn't it it is that? yeah and you you listen to the lyrics and you think you know there's there's quite a lot of pain and heartache there but but actually the songs are really uplifting so mm. it's that sort of balance that that I find a similarity in my own music with that as well, I think. Um, we obviously are going to hear one more track from you. We know we can get that uh, Beyond the Dark and Sky single from the 25th of August. But in terms of live dates, because you're based in a different country from ours, almost, yeah. I mean, it is a different country, England and Wales, when, do, do you get a chance to perform here much? Um, I do do um, gigs in London, yes. Um, and 
I will be embarking on a... Um, embarking? A, embarking. Is that a good one? Are you embarking? Embarking. Oh, em- embarking. Embarking, sorry, yeah. Um, <laughs> we always get excited when people are going to appear embarking, that's all. Embarking. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, not yeah, not yeah, embarking. No. Yeah, um, but I've actually just finished some live dates as well. Um, but I definitely will have more live dates coming up. Um, so I mean, people can go to my to my website for that. Um, but I'd like to be doing a little acoustic tour sort of um, autumn, which will definitely take in London. So all right, give us details of the website. Give us the website yeah. address. Um, it's carolineharrison dot com. So all right, that's very simple. CarolineHarrison dot com. Uh, we've already heard the single "Beyond the Dark and Sky." What's the second and final track you're going to do for us tonight? This is another track from the EP. It's called "Like a Picture Tells a Story," and it's just uh, I love photos and photography as well. Um, and it's just really a song that's about reminiscing and the value of photos and looking back over time. I guess. And, all right. Yeah. Take it away. Live on BBC London ninety four point nine. This is Caroline Harrison. <laughs> Watching time unraveling, take a picture and you'll see. 
Live on BBC London 94.9, it is our guest tonight, Caroline Harrison. CarolineHarrison.com is the website. Thank you so much for joining us live on the programme tonight. Thanks for having me. And good luck with the single launch on uh, August the 25th. It's called Beyond the Darkened Sky. Thank you very much. a safe trip back to the... It's not the valleys, is it? (laughs) Is it the valleys? I know it's all in the same place. (laughs) No, it's not. No. No, further west. All right. Well, enjoy. Thank you. (laughs) BBC London 94.9.